The first phone with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 comes from Lenovo, and it includes a crazy amount of RAM. iOS 12.1.2 is now available, but apparently it doesn't fix Apple's problems with Qualcomm. And Samsung's Galaxy M line is close to being official, and they released the crazy battery along with it. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Finally, no Galaxy S10 punch hole in the screen protector leaks. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by Swappa. The official news today begin with a uh, 5G uh, and not necessarily crazy news. So AT&T has just announced its deployment in 12 cities starting on December 21st. Uh, you can become part of the trial, but guess get this, like for example, the device, the Nighthawk 5G device uh, to provide the service for your home is $600, which you're getting for free, uh, it seems temporarily. And then each pack of like five, 15 gigabytes is 70 bucks. Like, um, you, you don't have to pay for that either, but the rumors are that that's just for three months. But like, come on, man, like, what? That, that's crazy expensive. Now let's talk about HTC. Believe it or not, I thought the company was dead. It's not, but it, I don't know if I should say it might as well be or what. It just launched one phone that doesn't surprise anybody. It's the Desire uh, 12S, which is actually lesser spec than the 12, if, and the 12 wasn't even that great. The specs are not necessarily fantastic. Uh, I get it. It's a low-end phone, I guess we could call it. Uh, but it just, I wonder exactly what HTC is doing here, particularly now that ASUS is dropping the Zenfone line and HTC should work harder for Taiwan. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy M lineup as a, I know, right? Another line of Galaxy devices. But the point here is that uh, even though there's nothing to be surprised about the specs or anything, they're just being certified for Wi-Fi. And uh, guess what? One of these models has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And given the fact that we know that Samsung has been trying out newer technologies on premium mid-rangers, prepare for that battery on your next flagship. Now let's talk about iOS 12.1.2 as uh, you heard that version that Apple was going to push in order to fix the issues with Qualcomm. Well, the company launched it today, it's available to you, but uh, Qualcomm claims that it doesn't fix the problems, one. And two, Apple is not really telling consumers what it's switching off from that Qualcomm patent, so downloaders beware. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Lenovo? Uh, and I hear the crickets, but no, it's, it's um, I know, we've never covered Lenovo as hot news, but listen to this one. They've just launched what they call the first ever Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 smartphone, which will launch officially in January. We're talking about uh, dual cameras at the back, a sleek carbon fiber-like design, uh, slider mechanism for the selfie camera, pretty much no bezels. All this is fine, but the coolest part is the RAM, 12 gigabytes. Uh, so yeah, this is coming from Lenovo. Let us know in the comments, I mean, what do you think? Because my top of mind of Lenovo has never been great after how they've treated Motorola. Uh, but uh, hey, if they launch this phone out elsewhere, usually not just China, I would totally be interested. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. And friends, before we end this video, we would love to thank our sponsor, Swappa, for making our content possible. Now that we have new iPhones out, Apple has discontinued some of our favorite models, like the iPhone X, iPhone 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE. You can still get these phones in a gently used condition over at Swappa. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about Swappa's selection of discontinued iPhones. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.